Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is February 27th, which means it's the 27th day of my breaking my fast post 108 day fast. And um, I'm actually about, well, today is the ninth day of a fast that I did. So basically what I did was I did 108 days fasting on the master fast system protocol. And then when I broke my fast on February 1st, I decided to do the divine nine hybrid cycle. And so I ate for 18 days and I documented every single day breaking the fast. And um, then I started a, the fast again that I did for the 108 days um, just for nine days. So today is the, the ninth day of that, um, which is awesome. I am excited to break it. I am. I actually just did a dry dry fast. So I'm drinking some MFS bubbly is what it's called, the Master Fast System bubbly. Um, so it's baking soda, grape juice, lemon juice, and apple cider vinegar. Uh, apple cider vinegar. So I am drinking that, breaking my fast. I'm breaking it a little earlier than I would have liked to, uh, but. I'm breaking it a little earlier than I would have liked to, but it's good. It's a good thing. Andrew and I have a really busy day today, this week, at this place where he works. They're doing an inventory, so he'll be working late, and I have to do a Kalima board today, so I'm hydrating, drinking this before we have to, we get to greet our day and do the things that we have to, that we need to do today do the things that we need to do today. So anyway, I'm drinking this, but I want to give you an update. I've actually been struggling a lot on this nine day fast, not the fast in general, but the way I've been feeling, what I want to do after the fast, how I want to live my life. I've just been having a little bit of difficulty with that. I know that when people do this fast, they make it a lifestyle and I think that's really awesome and I also think that it would be really cleansing for my body and help with a lot of things like a lot of mucus has been coming up I've been feeling like kind of like a sore throaty kind of thing going on because I think it's cleaning out uh, things are you know detoxing I had a lot of throat things and ear things when I was a kid um, I had ear infections when I was really young like a lot younger and I had mumps I believe and I had this huge bump on my neck right here and I couldn't swallow. Um, I couldn't swallow, so I think that a lot of things are still working its way out of my body. And anyway, that's really awesome that that's happening, doing the fast, and I'm really happy about that. However, I really want to increase more exercise and weight lifting into my lifestyle, and I'm not quite sure if the fasting is a lifestyle that I want to do, but it's definitely a tool that I have in my belt now, which I'm really excited. So I know what to do when I'm feeling subpar or I'm not really uh, thriving emotionally. I'm not really thriving emotionally. And I, I don't know. That's something that I've been really struggling with because I know that people say the easiest thing to do is just do one of the hybrids and just continue to do that and then set up a long fast. And I do want to set up another long fast. I, I think realistically I'll probably do it in September or October or something like that if I did the long fast again pretty much a year from when I did the last one because uh, I, I started in October of 2017 with a 108 day fast. So anyway, my point is, I don't know if I want to do this fast forever or a hybrid. I'm really not sure because I have never ever been this thin in my life, ever. And I'm wondering if, I'm wondering how my digestion is functioning after this. And I slowly want to reincorporate grains to see how that feels and legumes to see how that feels. and certain foods that I know with the master fast system they don't really recommend eating but I just want to test for myself to see how I feel doing that you know and they might be 
they might be right, but I don't know unless I try. And that's one of the things that I've been struggling with because I really like to follow the rules of things. And uh, yeah, it's been very difficult for me in that regard. So anyway, I also want to include weightlifting, which I said earlier. And I don't know how good it is to be fasting while you're weightlifting. I don't, I think doing yoga is one thing, but I really want to do some kettlebell work. I got the Shauna Virtue Method, the Vir Shauna Virtue book, The Virtue Method, and she recommends uh, kettlebell lifting. And obviously I'm starting very low. I got the smallest ones that you could get for now, because I don't really have quite so much muscle right yet. It's a little bit, little baby bus, little baby muscles. Uh, anyway, so I want to start incorporating that into my life, and I'm just not sure what would best suit my body for doing those kind of workouts. And I don't quite think fasting will do that. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. That's been a struggle for me for the past nine days that I've been fasting. I've also been cooking up a lot of things and been posting pictures on our Instagram and I've just been really excited to reincorporate food, fruits and vegetables into my life. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just want to be more compassionate with myself and also more accepting and allow myself to do these things that I want to do and eat and just be really mindful when I'm eating so when I eat I'm hoping like I did for the 18 days to focus solely on the food that I'm eating and not think about anything else so that's that's been a challenge that's actually a lot harder than you think to just think about the food that you're eating and be appreciative of the food and just completely be immersed in the food that you're eating I tend to think about all these other things like, oh, what am I gonna make next? What kind of food do I wanna make? Oh, well, what do I have to do next? And then I'm just, I always have to bring my mind back and say, okay, we're eating right now. Let's not focus on all these things that we don't need to focus on. So anyway, that's what's happening with me. And yeah, it's it's been a little bit difficult, you know? but I'm excited to work through it and I'm grateful that I have these thoughts and I'm also grateful that I have this opportunity to experiment with my body and see what works for me and what doesn't work for me and maybe it's the fasting forever or maybe it's not and I want to be okay with that with myself and that's what I'm working on to be okay with and that's I think it that's pretty much the update. I will start documenting every day though, starting tomorrow, showing you what I'm eating, how I'm breaking the fast again, because you might be curious. And I'm curious too as to what I'm going to be eating and it's nice to document what I'm doing because then I can also talk about how I'm feeling. And that's a really good way of me keeping track of the things that I'm putting into my body and how things are going because obviously digestion has been something that I struggled with in my past uh, and so I definitely am keeping track of my digestion and my bowel movements each day <laughs> which is really funny because when I first started dating Andrew I would be like did you even go to the bathroom today how many times did you go and he'd be like I don't know I don't count I just go to the bathroom I don't really think about it uh, so it's kind of funny that he started thinking about that after being with me but I think about it all the time because of a situation that I had when I was a kid I was about eight or nine and I was constipated for probably a week I didn't go to the bathroom I couldn't go to the bathroom it was really painful to go to the bathroom it was really awful and so I always remember that and also my mom told me when I was younger that uh, that the girl, I think she was an actor in the movies The Poltergeist, she ended up dying from constipation or something like that. And that really scarred me and stuck with me because I 
I remember being like young and constipated and I didn't want to like die from constipation. So anyway, we ended up, my dad ended up doing a lot of things with me. I had to drink all these liquids and they put things in my butt, like some wax sticks or something and water and just to try to get things lubricated and moving again. And I remember when I did have to go to the bathroom, I was in the middle, my sister and I, when we were younger, we were only allowed to watch a TV show per night, like one TV show per person per week. So we were able to watch two TV shows and so my sister would pick one and then I would pick one and then we would watch it together. And so I remember we were watching Seventh Heaven. I don't know if you guys remember that TV show, but my sister and I really liked that TV show when we were growing up. But we were watching Seventh Heaven and back then there wasn't any DVRs or anything like that. So if you missed the episode, you missed the episode until they played a rerun on TV, but they never played the reruns in order, ever. So I remember the episode was about to end and I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and <laughs> I really had to go. Like, But I was holding it in so I could see the last part of the show, which is kind of ridiculous. But anyway, I was able to catch the very end before I had to go to the bathroom really badly. And I was in the bathroom for quite a while, but things were like moving, which is great. But. Anyway, I'm working to get my digestion moving on its own more efficiently, more effectively, and that way I don't have to go through that again, ever, ever again. I don't, it's awful, that feeling where you can't go to the bathroom. Anyway, that's a lot of talking for today, this morning. If there's anything else I feel that is necessary to put in this video, I will put it, but I'm going to drink my bubbly and then I'm gonna have some kidney tea and then I'm going to have a luscious, wonderful coconut. I'm so, so, so excited. It's so wonderful to drink coconut water after you've been dry fasting for over 24 hours. I actually started my dry fast on Thursday night at 10.30. That's when my start started. So I did 24 hours. I was hoping to go for 36, but with timing, it's just not gonna work out that way this time, which is totally fine. And anyway, that's that's it. Okay, so I just wanted to document this. I had my MFS bubbly, my kidney tea, and my lovely, 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 lovely husband open up this coconut water for me, and it's so good. It's so good, it's so good. Oh my gosh, coconut water is amazing. I love it so much. just like so refreshing and we had it in our fridge so it's like nice and cold well like cool you know not like super super cold it's so refreshing it's so nice after those long fasts so I just thought I would document that because it's just wonderful it's so wonderful Anyway, also we got these coconuts at the Asian market in Albany. There's an Asian market. I'm not sure what road it's on. It's like on the main, it's off. It's on the main strip by Wolf Road. I don't know. I don't really pay attention, I just know how to get there. <gasps> anyway, so we got a whole bunch of these from there and they also sell durian. So if you're interested in getting durian, that's where we found it so far. There's some other Asian markets I think closer to us which we would like to go see if they maybe sell some durian or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, that's in the works. Oh, look, I see Andrew's hand there. Oh, he's sitting at my calling award. He's so wonderful. So, so wonderful. All right, I'm gonna stop filming now and enjoy the rest of this coconut until later or next time, probably tomorrow. I think the rest of the day I'm gonna have some coconut water and grape juice, so that's pretty it. Pretty straightforward, simple. Don't really need to film that, but thought you might want to know how amazing this coconut water is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel below. 
if you want to see more um, if you want to see more videos and if you want to get updates when we post new videos please subscribe and please 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 comment we'd love to hear from you guys obviously with this playlist specific playlist it's pertaining to my fast and breaking my fast and how I'm living after my really long fast of 108 days so please comment on this you could also ask questions to Andrew too if you want on this uh, playlist on this video whatever you want to do we'd love to hear from you we love to hear your love and your support and all that stuff so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day enjoy the sun the snow the rain all of it <laughs>